I'm going to show you how to search for keywords using eDiscovery in the Microsoft Office portal. And rather than talking about it for the next 20 minutes and then do it, I'm going to show you how to do it right away. So I'm logged into portal.office.com. I'm going to click on the admin center because I am the admin for this site. So if you don't know what that is, you should probably do some research before getting to this point. So now that I'm in the admin center, I need to go to where it says roles. I need to make sure I have the right role in order to do what's called e-discovery. So I'm going to click on show all roles because it's not showing all of them. And I'm going to scroll down to our compliance admin. So I'll click on compliance admin. And you see that's set up for security and compliance. And we'll see assigned admins. And you'll just click add and then you'll do a search for your name and then you'll click Add. So once you are a compliance admin, then you have, as you see here, the ability to do e-discovery cases. By default, not even the administrator has that right. So you have to go in and add that. All right, now that that's done, we want to go to the admin centers on the left-hand side. And if you don't see that, there's a link that says Show All. So click uh, Show All and click on Compliance. And once Compliance is open, there is a section that we need to go to to open up for e-discovery. And in order to see that, you got to click Show All. Now that we're in Show All, we see e-discovery. We'll hit the drop down on e-discovery. And then when you do that, you'll click on Core. There's an advanced option as well, but I find in most cases, Core is really all you need. Now I'm going to create a case. And you can't do this unless you have that role done first. So I'm just going to say, we'll call this check for keywords. I've obviously done this before. I'll call this one number two. And click Save. And what we want to do is we want to look for keywords in our, in our user's email to see if they're doing anything they shouldn't be doing, or maybe we're running an investigation, that kind of thing. Once this is created, we need to select it and then choose Open Case. Just clicking on it does not open the case. It'll just open the properties, which doesn't show you everything you need to know. So once the case is open, we can do a keyword search. We can actually do a lot of different types of searches, but keywords is what we're looking for in this video. So I can switch to advanced e-discover if I want, but I really don't need to. If you have any holds on any emails, then you can uh, create or modify those holds at this point. I just want to do searches. And I'm going to click on a new search. So what I'm looking for are specific keywords. So what I did in my email, I'm just going to switch back to my email for just one second. And what I did was I created an email and I said the word credit card info in it. So uh, what I want to do is I want to search for any time the word credit card is mentioned because it's possible my employees might be doing something they shouldn't be doing. So I need to make sure that uh, they're not saying anything about credit cards. So I'll go back into keyword search. I'll type in credit card. You could also do things such as uh, social security numbers or embezzlement or finance, finances, money, anything you want to do. And I'm going to scroll down for locations. So I can choose all locations which means that if you have both uh, in a hybrid situation on-premises as well as at uh, Office 365, now called Microsoft 365, or you could choose locations on hold or specific locations. And I'm going to choose specific and choose modify. Now, I can choose exchange email. I can choose Skype. I don't need to just do searches in email. I can look in all these different products that Microsoft uses. So I'm going to choose specific users. I can choose users, groups, I, or if I just choose all, it'll look for everything, but it'll take a long time to search. So usually if you're going to be doing a search, there'll be specific people that, or groups of people in your company that you're looking for. But uh, then again, you may not. You may want to look at everybody. So I'll click on Choose Users, and it goes a lot faster if you do it this way. So I'm just going to put in my name because I'm going to search myself, and it's going to look for anybody's uh, username or group or Teams that has the name Robert in it. Once it does, I'm going to select it and click Choose. And I'm going to say Done. Now, once again, you can select all if you want to. It just will take a long time. So now that that's done, if I want to here, I can choose to add conditions. 
So if I want to add conditions, I can say I can whittle this down even further to make the search go faster and get more exact results that I want. So I can say the uh, date, the sender, the subject, the title, participants, anything in there that I want. I don't need to do that, but you can certainly do that. There's also this option to show a keyword list. So if you wanted to, you could put in all the different uh, keywords here that you would like to put in. I don't need that, so I'm just going to go ahead and uncheck that. So I want to see if my Robert account has the mention of the word credit card in it. And now I'm going to go ahead and run that. So I scroll down to the bottom, click Save and Run. Now it's looking for a search name. I'm just going to say check for keywords too once again. Click Save. Not sure why it does that. It's sort of redundant, but that's okay. And once it's done saving, then it will go ahead and start the search. And now the search begins. Now this search could take quite a while. It could take a few minutes. It could take hours. It just depends on how much you're searching, how many keywords, how many users, all the users, that kind of thing. Now in my case, I was very specific about what I wanted. I wanted the word credit card and I wanted just one account. So it's retrieving those preview results right now and it should show them to me shortly. And there we are. We see emails with the word credit card in it. And this is exactly the email I put in. So one is my sent items and one is my inbox. We see the word credit card. We also see anything else that has the word credit card in it. And here's some bills from Microsoft that just mentioned the word credit card. So that's why that's in there as well. So uh, you can see how much I spent. <laughs> and there we go. So that's how you do a keyword search using eDiscovery in Microsoft 365.